It is known that the world fell and that most people in it died. The dead will not suffer the hardships of a terrible world which remains. Those born into this hell have no remembrance of anything else. Those who survived, those are the truly broken, for they know what was before. of his past. He believed he could silence the cacophony in his mind and find peace beyond a place he called the Plains of Silence. He now had the vehicle, the weapons, the provisions and the fortitude. He only needed the fuel. And here, there was but one place to go for fuel. Gas Gently. What? No! It ain't for eating. That's you. If our walls are like inside, the other gives birth. So to blaze by godly plug ignite. Revolution about revolution rejoice! Please, now don't kill Chum Rocket! Please! Hey! <laughs> Why shouldn't I? Because I know you. Yeah, I spied you in the long lookers. They left you for the blowflies, and they snatched your ride. And now you'll be looking to snatch it back. That's what the prophecy says. You're the driver. That's right. Then Chumbucket is your man. Yeah, I'm your man. Yeah, yes, I am. See, I have a vehicle that can take you to your car. I do say, 
That's right. She's not running now. Sorry for that. I came here for the part. You see, I'm a black finger. I can make it work again. And I, I think you did too. It's gonna need an overhaul. Don't go straight. No, I won't. I know you'll find me and dismantle me. I know. Chum bucket's not stupid. Dog's bleeding out. Oh, I can fix it, but I do my best work in my sanctum. Push the car. I need wire to fix my buggy, but then I can show you where they took the black on black. Where do I find wire? Up that path. Uh, but before you go, grab some grit, Saint. You must be running on fumes. Yeah, see, this is where the thick brow squat and cut. Those butchers. Infidels. Oh, oh, yes, look. There. Scabarus Scotus is the king. Yeah. He was a big boss man from the gas town, you see. Scrotus always keeps the best parts for himself, himself. Yeah, but he's not here now. You see, I, I don't see the land will burn. I'm getting my car back. Please, wait, please, please. An idea. It's better for you, and it's better for me. Just listen. Look, your, your black on black is toast. It's scrap. It's gone. She'll never be whole again. Huh? Now I, I can build you a car. Bring into creation one that's faster and tougher than the black on black ever was. Huh? How tough, how fast. Very. Faster than fear. Tougher than an iguana's gonads. Come, come, come with me. We mustn't be seen. Huh? I'll take you to the tabernacle, and when you see what I'm gonna show you, you'll be shouting holy all day long. Come and see your saint. Huh? A dream. A hallucination become truth. The angel made steel. <laughs> by the fire that moves the piston, by the tranny on all high, by the cam and the huge on blessed be, huh? there she lies, a magnum opus. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> this ain't no car. It's just a mess of parts. No, no, no. She's knowledge from the numinous, hmm, divinely inspired. She wills herself upon this world. Huh, look! See, here, divine meets drive shaft and a symbiosis of faith, modded and made to measure. You want some of that old-time religion, huh? I got a classic whammy turbo high dog, huh? Hell yeah! Bulletproof and torture tested, aesthetically upgraded with chum bucket overdrive. Coils, and springs, and shocks, and links too. It's gonna be eight soon, there's nothing less. We will get there, yes. First, we have to get her beautiful body. Show me where it is. Yes! Come, no time like the present. Come on, Saint! We must go! There. It's through those cave tunnels. I need more than just a body and some wheels. Hey, man! <laughs> oh, we need parts, scarce as they are. Help me gather all this scrap! I'll fashion a harpoon. To stand a chance, oh, she'll need nitrous! I know how, but we'll need the parts. We just get them. It'll be easy with a harpoon. Yes, but first, Scrotus war boys are out there. And if we don't weaken their numbers, why, it'll mean the end of you, me, and the magnum opus. All right. Let's do it. There's something needs doing before we turn back. But, but we've got all we need. Why stall our work on the magnum opus? It's not for you to understand. I see. You have your secret reasons. 
I'll follow you, because I think fate favors, old chum. And you need both of us. Say, oh, Saint, come and see. Come and see, oh, Saint. Yes, she's with these hands and the blessings of the sacred Silenoi. She's come to life. My sweet angel, come bust you. What did I tell you? V8, not V6. Yeah, exactly. Eight is the magic number. You and me, we're gonna land a big chief, a bona fide bad boy. Huh? 429 cubic inches, 460 horses, holy rolling. Nobody could touch you on the blacktop day or night. Why, you'd be evergreen, eternal, road tripping with the gods. Where is it? Gas town. Well, let's go there. No, wait, wait, wait. You can't just go to gas town. Oh, we need armor on my angel for that run. Yeah, it's gonna take a long time, too. I'd probably need to get a couple of... of a ruined past. You say you seek the plains of silence, but do you not wander them right now? The remains of your life, a perpetual flight, an escape from all that is human, until one day, the plains of silence end and you begin. You have a purpose in this life, my friend, although you fear to dream it. But pain will come, much more pain, before this purpose to you is made manifest. You know nothing of me. Look behind you, at June after June of drifting, half-forgotten terrors. You flee them always, these past phantoms, and the madness that crawls inside. You've come to Griffith for a reason, deep inside. Twisted around horrors from which you run lies your strength. Griffith can help. Help you venture down to where you damned go yourself. And lay bare your true promise. It's 
not much of a car. You trust that little scrap monkey? For now. Not much of a stronghold. Careful now. Don't want to insult a man in his own home. <laughs> Listen, we used to rule this stretch, and now the Warlord controls all and brings only death. Warlord? Scrotus. Scabrous. Killed, I hear. Sawed him up in the head. <laughs> but his terror outlives him. A proposition, then. I'll weaken their grip on these lands. You give us the use of your garage and tools. Boom! If I thought you could, you'd have a deal. And then what? Gas town. <laughs> oh, one peep at the jaw will change your mind. What's the jaw? It's a gate you gotta pass to reach Gas Town. Look for it yourself. It's in Dead Baron's Pass. All right, before I do, do we have a deal? Yeah. You weaken the influence of that dead warlord. And we'll have a deal. I wish I had no use for the likes of you, but as you can see, we are fading quick here. What are you getting at? Help us establish some necessities, and you'll benefit greatly. I'll see to it personally. I'll take a look. The night promises. That's out of. Bet you need to keep her filled with a steady diet of primo ammunition, huh? Always need ammo. Keep talking. There's something brewing out there. More boys from Gastown are tightening the noose fierce like. I hear their leader Scrotus got his gumball sawed up by some wild deuce. <laughs> this land is about to be scorched by Gastown wrath. Our weapons won't do. I need powder. Black, deadly, and smoky. And that's where I come in, huh? Now, uh, listen! One of my people was taken by Thrall Rustlers sometime past. He sprang himself back here, told me a prisoner there knows the recipe for black powder. You go get me this prisoner, alive and talkative, and he tells me the specs for cooking up the powder, and you're set for ammo for life. I have a deal with Jane. You build me that sniper rifle, then we head out. We have work to do. Praise me! <laughs> oh, just you find me the parts, and I'll get cracking! Your plans for this car, building it up. You gotta do it before we can get past the jaw. These black fingers are ready to dance, Saint! Oh, yeah, and I know just the steps, too. It's called the Jack, a wasteland classic. <laughs> It off and our, our chances of survival grow tenfold. In the harpoon? Soon, soon. <laughs> uh, but she needs the basics first, huh? The car's weak. Agreed. Let's return to Jeets first, huh? Then I'll show you the plans. Huh? Here it is, Saint. My plans for the Jack. Oh, oh, she'll be perfect. Speed, power, huh? tenacious durability. Take a look-see, take a look-see. You recall our companion, Saint, hmm? the Dinky D? Do you think he made it out of the inferno that was once my tabernacle? No, uh, burnt to a crisp. Or food for somebody. No, no, I, I think he made it out, yeah? He's got a survival instinct, that little one, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think he would have sought shelter inside my old buggy. The buggy and the dog would have their uses. Oh, everything a uh, wastelander would hold dear. <laughs> Plain sight, it's too strange. <laughs> Wind and the dust wind, wet in the sacred house of the car, yet now they travel together as one. Oh, oh, fluster, fluster. Only a time to kill them. ...in their frenzy, then they venture forth into the many mysteries of the, the magnificent manifold. Lo, no! <laughs> it is! It's the little count of the carburetor. Now, oh, who could forget that whimpering? And the devious suckling face. Oh, dead a dozen times if you do, boy. 
We've come to deal. Uh, nothing else. I got gas. So pitch me, little man, before I make a blood sport of your driver here. He's no ordinary driver. This one no, he was sent to me by the angel of combustion herself. Angel, we parlay with the water gods here. We desire to, to make way to the dead baron. My sanctum, my sanctum is, is destroyed. It's burned. Everything I have is gone, gone. I, I have nothing left. And please, this car needs healing, she does, and, and strengthening. Yes, and if, if you let us stay here, and, and rebuild, then, then I offer to you these. Uh, the hands of a Blackfinger. Yes. You'll have one chance for me. Oh, oh. <laughs> thanks. Thanks, B. Thanks, B. Uh, yes. So, killer, little Count Carburetor says you need to bust through the jaw. I'm going to Gastown. Sure you are. Now me, I know a lot about Gastown and the jaw. I trade goods in and out of there all the time. You want something? Say it. Ain't no sweet talking you, is there? All right. I seen that harpoon device of yours. Not bad. He's a little something extra, though. Sort of a final flourish, let's say. And that's where you come in. Uh, the jaw looks imposing, but it's got a weakness. The hinges. Your harpoon could be the key, but not with that weak jag tip. You need a piece tougher. Something called the Talon. And you have it. I know who does. A nuisance of a noose man named Dimrim. And Dimrim could use a little lesson in manners. Him and his whole convoy. So I relieve Dimrim of this Talon. By force, I reckon. And you and I square? Yeah. Then we be square. Talon, huh? I hear it's possible to tear down the jaw with this. Oh, that sounds like Guckash, John. But it's possible. With a pinch of black magic. What do you know? Ha! <laughs> oh, you got balls the size of boojums. And you done us some good, granted. So hear me. You'll need to get your harpoon reinforced to get through that first gate. Easy. But your biggest hurdle are those hinges. That's why it all calls for some black magic. Explosives. Oh, yeah. With the talon, build you an explosive jag tip. Blow those hinges right off. Boom. Let's do it. No. Smoke rises. Brutes have descended. Oh. Cam, pissed. We must make our presence felt. No. There's no reason to risk us getting here. If Pink Eye should die! We'll use the gear that's in there. Your fabled fingers are nimble enough. My fingers won't fail me, Saint. But these defilers, the very same ones that destroyed my sanctum. Saint, summon into mind the horrors they brought. They will do the very same here. And they will leave no sacred tools. They'll burn what they can't carry. And they break what they cannot burn. Then let's go. 
Yes. Wheels, wheels, wheels! Lay down your arms. Let's you and me parley instead. No more sticky tricks, Stankum. Today, we finish it. Called my bluff, wheels! It finishes today. The total eradification of all. You, everything here. Master order this? Scrotus word? Are you playing solo? Oh, it's sanctioned. Tell me about it. On high. Take him out! <laughs> <laughs> You tell me, son. Tell you what? Tell me why I shouldn't land a slug right between your eyes. I need your help. Let me get this straight. You come here, stranger to my domain, and risk your life to help us. Yes. <sighs> Desperate and capable. I think we can do business. Listen, listen, listen. Talk of the big chief in Gastown! Can we trust it? Oh, these folks, they know engines, huh? And the V8 we seek. Let's hear it. They say, to take the big chief, one must win the most dangerous race. Who do I see about this race? The Gastowners call him the Outcrier. Oh, he hangs out near the refinery underbelly. The time has come for us to uproot. There's no way we can stand up to gas town. I'm sending my young ones away. Across the Great White. Out the unknown. They'll run out of fuel and die. But we're not using fuel. We'll build a dune ship on wheels with a sail to catch the wind. Why are you telling me this? I think you might help me for a price. I've found a fitting sail. I know where to get it, but not how. As reward, treasure from the days of old. Still buried beneath the dunes and ruins. <sighs> Fresh meat for the grinder. Straight from the unforgiving waste. I want to join the races. See that slate? You put your mark on it. Then I'll put you in the murder dome! <laughs> you, uh, you worked the blood and gut circuit for a couple of years. Survive it, make champion, then maybe I can start grooming you for a shot in the races. <laughs> no time, Joel Byrne. I need to join the races now. Uh, okay. Maybe we can find a spot for a man of your uh, temperament. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in return for a favor. A very dangerous, possibly suicidal favor. Huh? You see? You see these? These are lights. But they fade. And when they fade, 
very desperate man were to fetch me some new ones. You follow me, Wastelander? You want new bulbs? I want new ladies! Yeah! I want a lot of them! I asked them all! The gang... The gangbangers, the torpedoes, the newsmen, but no one would help me! You know why? Because they don't have the stones for buzzing country. Tell me exactly where they are. You follow this, and you'll get to the Underdoom. for fighting at the Gastown races. Yeah. Well, not too many left to choose from. I'd hurry. <sighs> oh, a wanderer comes. I, Crow Dazzle, bid you welcome to the Circle of Light. To the Circle of... Wait. I see you're not here to race. I can see it in your eyes. I'm looking for a fighter to join the Gastown race. They say you know them all. A shiny crow such as I is easily flattered. I may help you after all. Give me a name. Only but one left. Tenderloin. She used to ramble large. Now she sucks the mask day and night. But Crow thinks a shot at the bigs could make a bad girl right. Where is she? Out back, up in that gas. But tread careful. She still loves her a good murder. I need a fighter. Oh, this mother sucker just say to me? You wanna fight me? No, I need a fighter. Someone to partner up for the gas town races. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, races. The taste of blood on your lips. Your own. Someone else's. It don't matter. You're alive while death is all around. Do you want to join me? Yeah. If you do something for me first, <laughs> square my dad with crow dazzle, and I swear I'll get sober. And murder up with you. Mm. Tenderloin's dead. Ha! That's her deal? A crafty fume head she is. Crow can lift a wing and wipe the slate clean. But my charity ain't free. State your wish. Low down as such. You race for Crow, here, now. You bring the chills, and the spills, and the people drop bills? I let her debt slide. Fine. Not so fast, Buck. You ain't racing that funky junk here. That rubber ain't fit for my finery. Only speed demons on this track. You tune that car right, then you race my blacktop. Lo, here comes a wanderer. I, Crow Dazzle, welcome you to the circle of light. To the circle of the brave, the skilled and the quick. You've come very far, and with a great hunger. But, 
Are you one who seeks to win a name for himself? Or who wishes to bind to the heart of his machine? Or are you both? What are you saying? Racing, son, is a many splendid thing. There are some who come to Crow Dazzle for the glory, to beat the baddest the wasteland can muster, and have their names ring out in fireside tales of bravery for ages to come. Others are on the path of the spirit. They seek the death run to bind their beings to their machines. What's your wish here? Your debt is paid. Yes, a man of your word. Now, give a girl a moment to clear her head. There'll be a few men for days. <laughs> Ready to race. Excellent. Tonight we race.
delivered by someone very special, dear to us all, though we fear him to the core. Gaze upon him! Return to us from the afterlife! Fast in his glory, O oh Gaskell! He who has conquered death like his father before him! Immortal! An Olympian! A godhead! saw you fall. I didn't see me land. Oh. <laughs> I'd, uh, report you to Scrotus itself, but, uh, gotta get my lid lopped, too. <clears throat> what do you say you, uh, help me out some more, hmm? Not your errand boy. I'll make it worth your while. So, you know of Crow Dazzle? He runs races like I do. He got a sound system that rivals my own. And I want it for myself. <laughs> now it's mounted on a bona fide race wagon. I just want the loud thing. You keep the car. <laughs> Take him, Lord Strotus! You're not gonna die on me, champion. Not yet. You'll get well. And when you do... I got another for you. Yes, my child. You will help me get her back. As soon as I get you fixed up. Now. Oh, it's you. Abdominus, organic mechanic, my champion, he's wounded. This one, or you'll end up more of a mess than him. Why? Let's get him to the chair. Someone you should meet. Who? It's someone from before. <laughs> Didn't mean you, dog eater. There now, Dinky D. Huh? We're all friends here. Huh? Friends of him. <laughs> yes, only he doesn't want to know about it, huh? Too afraid of the ghost. I just don't want any friends. A bit late for that. this wasteland concubine to be your lawfully wedded wife. I do.
Beach. I am Scab. War boy I was. Now, Bloodbag was made for greatness. Born to die in battle. Yeah, but you did it! You failed him! You failed Scrotus! And now your blood nourishes the weak. <laughs> My blood! May it burn through your veins and scorch your soul! Pay us my payment! Huh? Yeah. Go on, get out! Get out now! Where is she? The woman? A concubine. Uh, out there, the underbelly. You owe her a life! Don't know why she cares for a shit sack like you! Keep walking, Blood Leech! Blood Leech outside! Hey, Dune Drifter. I have something to tell you. Me and my child, on our way to our new master. Our rig was ambushed by buzzards. We fled. What do you want? There's hidden things in the rig. A treasure for someone like you. Why well, tell me this? I'll do nothing for you. I have a feeling you may yet. The rig still sits in the tunnels. Go there and see. I never thought I'd return to Garstown. What? I was a black finger here. Yeah, the finest, the most exalted. Oh, I had it all. all the parts, the purpose. I worked on the war machines and the assault vehicles. And I had a bunk and as much gruel and cheese and grease as I could eat. Yeah. And, and I had a plan. In the pitch of night, she whispered to me. The sweet angel combustion. She chose to visit this lowly acolyte. Huh? And she gave me the plan. Oh, the sweet angel combustion chose to visit this lowly acolyte. Huh? What happened? She told me that I had to begin my toil. Huh? I had the designs inside the pan, see? Just like she laid them down, the angel. And I began liberating parts for her design. And they, they caught me. They wished to turn me off for good, but Scrotus, brother, uh, he wanted to play with me. Uh, torture me. And they threw me off a wall in a bungee. But with the aid of the angel, uh, I made it out. I didn't die! <laughs> the parts. Deep in the bowels of the underbelly. Hidden, hidden away. Wait. Hey, 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 hey! Oh, I think, I think that we can get them for her. Yes! As it was intended by the Shimmy Shammy! Using the Magnum Opus and the Harpoon! Let's do it. The end times are upon us. I, Deep Friar, spawn of the Great Flame, have beheld it. My children, the flock of wildfire, eagerly await their righteous salvation. They expect me to deliver them. I see in you. Possible salvation. How so? Gastown is doomed. The dunes outside all run red with blood. Dread Scrotus and his war boys spread their bloody gospel of the blade. But you, your goal is elsewhere. That makes you a valuable ally. Nobody's ally. Many of my flock have come from the path of the blade and on to the flame. You'll be rewarded in buffed up weapons. What do you need? Since Dread Scrotus' recent bout with death by Chainsaw to the Nugget, the holy machination we call the Warm Embrace has become non-functional. You mean that big tube mounted outside? It leads into the gas-filled belly of Gastown. Once a sacred moon, it bellows out a pure flame, embracing the wildfire standing in its front. Now the flames have stopped. We cannot go into the tunnels, pitch black and full of flammable gas, making our torches impossible to use. Your false light there, that's the way to go. Oh, woe. In the midst of this apocalypse, my most trusted acolyte has deviated. Speak straight. My architect, my greatest follower, he orchestrated for the gas to be turned off to steal the pilot light. Under my nose, he took the sacred artifact. And by the flame, he did forsake the true path 
and stole away many of my wildfire flock. Deserters. Traitors. Heretics. I need that pilot light back. I will give you whatever I can if you help. Where are they? See? Written in our revered script. It calls for all stragglers wishing to save themselves from the damnation of Deep Friar to follow him. Scrotus is tearing up the town for you. We gotta get out of here. I won. The prize. Where is it? If you help me. My daughter. You gave me the chance to free her once. She ran, aided no. by the old man. I never helped you. Don't. I see what's behind the crazy in your eyes. I will help you find what you seek. And then you will bring me my child. The big chief. I need it. Now. Through here. In Stankum's garage. You'll have to drive it out of there. I'll find you after. And you will do right by me. Now go! too excited. We need to get the hell out of here. Oh, yes. Yes. It's, it's Crotus, the immortal. He, he ransacks the Pueblo. Yeah, but he thinks he's going to dismantle you piece by piece. But I will wed the big chief to the angel in a room, and then we'll see. Ah, yes. <laughs> dweller with his cloak and his staff. But he'll have kept her safe. Tell her... Tell her she is Glory. Her name is Glory. Hope and Glory. Cute. <laughs> Do your name? Max. My name is Max. Uh, Saint! <laughs> it's not a good place. Saint. The old man. As she said, the child's keeper. Was its keeper? Huh? This is honorable work, yes, but to do good, it's best to be alive. No, every second here, we risk everything. We're close to the Underdune. She's down there. That's what I'm saying. This is Buzzard Land. Uh, finally, 
See? Gotta burn! Uh, light it up! Uh. <laughs> uh. Uh. Buried again in this catacomb. Nothing to do but roam around until, by chance, they spew us out. For the child. But why? Why? The buzzards use children to dig around for loot. They're called diglings. His name is Hope. She's got red hair. She calls you Glory. Mom alive? She is. She's waiting for you. your fastest machine. It's yours. Take what you need. Your machine is gone. You were betrayed. So what? Stay with us. Make a life. When are you going to have another chance? Our contract is done. Hey. For you. Together we can build more than a life raft. <laughs> she, she, she came for me. 
You came for me. I should kill you for this. Uh -huh. Hail the champ! The ruination of Stankum, they said. The one who thieved my big block and my concubine. Not to mention the one who ran a saw blade into Lord Scabrus Scrotus's very brain bag. As if cut and dead stump. Saw your ride. Followed it here. We all followed it here. Found your monkey. And that monkey was made to sing. <laughs> About you, a woman, a child, a whole little family. You must be the daddy. Well, now, daddy's gonna die. What did he tell you? The <laughs> Lord Scrotus was here! <laughs> he heard that monkey song and he dug it about a little family! A woman, a child, a dog. Lord Scrotus is gonna hurt you more than you could ever hurt me. He's there right now, killing him slow! <laughs> In all sorts of tasty ways! You're too late. Scrotus was here. You okay, baby? Come here. Come on. Come on. Okay. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. I'll remember. I promise you. No. No, 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 no. No. Family! Lord Scrotus likes to take his time! <laughs> you where to find him. Your fame walks on its own, and your shadow has grown, and my blood has fueled legend. Scrotus is settled on roadslide of the Purgaty Flatlands. <laughs> it's who we taste that. A spent shell! Bring his corpus gratis to the organic mechanic! And let the blood serve! Now my blood returns for you, Scrotus! Now my blood returns! Still, black fingers will heal her. Say, yeah. 
about something?
do my stuff.
the car. Bait on that thing in the silo.
Now we just need to doll her up, huh? Yeah, she's gonna need a pretty paint job. Paint? How are we getting paint? Well, we can't just get it, huh? There's no way. Uh, the precious paints we need are only for Scrotus's top dogs. Uh, they won't just let you borrow some. I'd take what I need. <laughs> Boldness! <laughs> I've seen a grim we crave.
life back into her lungs still. Black fingers will heal her, say. Come on! What? Take his life. Oh! <laughs> 